ladies and gentlemen, at this time, let's welcome to the stage the one and the only, Miss Amanda Love. She was over the top. She was glamorous. You just, you couldn't see her on stage without being sucked in and hypnotized and just hanging on every little movement she made, every word she would lip sync. She was more than a drag mother to me. She had become another mother figure in my life. She was probably one of the first entertainers to, in West Virginia, to throw an HIV benefit. Uh, back when we were still scrambling and didn't know what it was. You know, talk to these people at the Cancer Society about how these women's hair looked before chemo. And she would make wigs to look like their hair in the evening. She would go to Raven Domestic Violence Shelters and give the women makeovers. She did benefits for the American Cancer Society. I mean, if there was a fundraising opportunity or benefit, Amanda was the first one there to do it. I try to live my life in a way that would make her proud. And I think that I'm doing a good job with that. I always laugh um, when we sit down to film Drag Queen Story Time because Amanda would have been front and center for that project. She loved children. She was amazing with children. And it would have just been something that was a project that she was all in work with. She would have been all about it. She would have loved it. She's been gone since 2013 now. So it's another way that we can keep her memory alive and her name alive because she did so much through the course of her life. And this is such a microwave, see it now, forget it now generation that people need to be aware of who she was and what impact she had on the community in West Virginia.